America, Tom Hand here in the Americana Corner. Today we're discussing General Arnold's relief of Fort Stanwix. The force sent to relieve Fort Stanwix was repulsed at Oriskany, but General Philip Schuyler was determined to send a second relief column. When none of Schuyler's subordinates volunteered to lead the expedition, Major General Benedict Arnold agreed to do so. Arnold led 700 troops west by forced marches and, by August 22nd, they were 30 miles from Fort Stanwix. The ever-resourceful Arnold found a suspected loyalist named Han Yost and ordered him to go to the British camp and inform them that General Arnold was nearby with a large relief force. Arnold was already something of a legend in North America, and the Senecas and Mohawks had no desire to face him on the battlefield. Within hours of learning of Arnold's approach, groups of Indians began to head west towards their home bases. What could have been a victorious army marching towards Albany to assist General John Burgoyne in splitting the colonies in two simply melted away into the vast woodlands of western New York. The next evening, General Arnold marched into Fort Stanwix to the welcoming cries of the beleaguered garrison. So much of the Battle of Oriskany and the siege of Fort Stanwix matter to us today. The heroics of General Nicholas Herkimer and the Tryon County Militiamen at Oriskany, and the determination of Colonel Peter Gansevoort and the American garrison at Fort Stanwix helped to defeat the British plan to split the American colonies in two, and thereby helped win the American Revolution. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.